What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake, and in today's video, I found a little helpful tip from you guys on how to lock your memory on one specific GPU at a time. Uh, a couple of weeks ago I posted this video, how to lock memory on NVIDIA GPUs to gain hash rate and lower wattage on CASPA, but uh, someone, or Rob actually, asked the question, I'm mining different coins on the same rig out of the 11 cards in it for or on Caspa. How would I just lock those cards and not affect the other ones? And I ignorantly replied and said I, I didn't know that you could, wasn't aware that it was possible. Uh, but luckily we got somebody like Flexitron, a uh, big shout out to him and thank you for answering this. Uh, actually you can lock it one GPU at a time. Uh, I'll post this down in the description below here. Make sure you don't capitalize anything in it. Everything needs to be lowercase, but you can specify one GPU at a time to lock the memory. Uh, you just simply need to copy and paste this into the uh, run command in HiveOS. So let me show you this here. We'll pull up my 3070Ti rig real quick. and. Right now, I'm mining Ergo on all six of these GPUs, but let's say, for example, if GPU number one was mining Caspa and the rest of them were mining Ergo, I would not want to lock the memory on GPU zero, or excuse me, on, on all of the GPUs except for zero. So in that specific instance, what I would do is I would go up here to run command and then I would run this command right here for GPU 0. Now if I wanted it to be GPU let's say number 2, you just delete that 0 and put a 2 there. And so what this is going to do is it's going to lock the memory on that one specific GPU. So we're going to go ahead and hit run and once this command processes you're going to notice that hash rate on this first 3070Ti is going to start dropping and the power is going to start dropping as well so if this particular GPU was mining something core intensive and not like the rest of them uh, then that would save you a tremendous amount of power and then you can increase the core as much as you want to now, of course you're going to notice hash rate is going to start to fall off as well as the wattage here but let's say for example you decide to mine uh, the same thing on all of the cards and you don't want to have a locked memory on any of the GPUs uh, you just simply go back up here into your command and you would run this command here and this would remove the locked memory clock on all of the GPUs simultaneously and then if you need to add it again you just go and add it one at a time. Uh, let's refresh this one more time just so you can see how low this hash rate drops but you can see the wattage as well. Now if this were mining CASPA uh, I would have a dramatic increase in, in hash rate and a dramatic decrease in wattage uh, just simply because we're not worried about uh, the memory uh, being a factor when you're mining a core intensive algorithm. So anyways, I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you haven't already, hit that like, hit the subscribe, and I'll continue to bring you these helpful tips. And once again, uh, shout out to Fluxitron. Really appreciate that, brother. All right, that's all I got. I'm out.